imagine a win, imagine a lead, yeah. feel yeah. it. Feel yes. it. Feel now it. take what you got right now yeah. and let's go f do the job. King Kong, this is a rope all of theme song. Sure if an cause we get informed. We got gunners and shoes on action. I give it all for my team. Better than us, what the hell do you mean? Sweat on our collars and hearts on our sleeve. Yeah, legacy more than a dream. Winning, we win it, we win. Yes, my people, welcome back to the Wall FC. As I said last week, today's game is the last of the early Wall days. The boys take on LSE Giants again, winning 7 1 the previous week, and knowing that today only three points matters. Before we get into things, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that helped us to reach 10,000 views for the first time on our channel. We want to continue this momentum and growth, so make sure you pause the video right now and hit that like button. I hope everybody had a great New Year's and has come into 2022 with their New Year's resolution set straight. Remember to leave a comment during or after the game so we can come and check and see what you thought of the match. Today we're outside because I arrived in my car and Percy told me that the other team told us that we can't can't go inside till 9.45. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I think it might be a vendetta thing. Obviously, one <laughs> seven one last game. So hey, 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 hey just you just know. cut back to a couple goals. <laughs> Today's a techie game. We gotta win by like 15 goals at least to give us a chance of winning the league if they're not win next week. Oh, I'm, fe I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling like a 15. They said that we can't get in until 9.45 because they've been salty. So what would you say to that? Salty? <laughs> we just gonna have to get some chips when they're salty. You know, you know what I'm talking about. They wanna be salty like that, let's give them a straight peppering, yeah? I can't lie, I'm trying to feel like Chelsea, yeah? There's a couple birthdays this week as well, like, we need to go away happy today. Yeah, they're on a joke thing. Are they being serious? Yeah. Oh, what do we want? We have to park outside until 9.45 before we can go in, because they're being salty. Hey! hey. <laughs> Hey, right, Sean, you know it's been sticking with you for a while now. I'm, I'm willing to hold it, yeah? I'm willing to hold it. It was a, it was a poor it's decision for my end. I'm listening to sad music from the doghouse. <laughs> this is the hug I needed, guys! <laughs> that was a salty move for them this morning, making us wait until 9.45. That's why I put my car in front of the gate, so they're getting some chips. Yeah, some tell them I'm getting some load. Fried, fried chicken and chips, you know them ones there? Tell, tell them I'm getting When you get the box and you shake it with the salt, they're getting that. Tell them I'm getting One time. So after last week's thrashing at LSC, the boys know they can't come into this game with no complacency. But the boys do have another uphill battle. Even the three points today won't win the league alone. The week before, our title rivals Blendon managed to beat Craven Park 7-1 and 8-1 in a double banker, leaving the boys a huge goal difference gap to catch up on of 14 goals. So only 15 goals is going to give the boys the title today. After beating LSC Giants 7-1 the previous week, the boys really think they can do it. I'm fired up. I'm literally fired up. It's the last game of the season anyway. That little stunt with the... Gates. Yeah, I want to punish them, I want to embarrass them today. One thing, don't get frustrated. Don't let anyone get on your back. Work together as we've been doing, yeah? Off the ball. Let's get the ball into the front men as quickly as possible. Use our overlapping runners, yeah? Pass it into the net. Let's get the first one and then just, just do what we've got to do. Have yep. we got that? Yeah. yeah. So, right. so Ted in goal. Yeah, Eman, Mentz and Reese, Divine left back. Chan, Jay, Percy, Chrissy. Zeps and Cecil up top. I don't really have much to say to you guys, um, apart from you guys know what you need to do today. Go out there, just express yourself and have a great game. At the end of the day, this is the last game of the season, yeah? And you've done well, so I just think you just need to enjoy it. Yeah. Just relax and enjoy it, and then the goals will come. Imagine a win, imagine a lead, feel it. Yeah. Feel it. Feel it. Yeah, yeah. Now take what you've got right now, yeah. and let's go f do the job. Yeah. Yeah. On three, oh, one, two, three, go! After last week's success, the Gaffers have stuck with a 4-4-2 formation with Ted and goal, Divine, Reese, Mentz and Eman at the back, the Brick and the Chairman in the middle of the park, the Wizard on the left, Chan on the right, and up top, we got Cecil the Madman and Zeps. And supporting the team from the bench, we got Roms, Dan and Rob. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Look at this guy. So the game kicks off, and with the boys chasing the title and the 15 goals, they know only an early goal will do. And I think Zeps is in the mood. Come on. Come on! It happened so fast, even the sideline missed it. But Zeps makes it 1 0 to the wall. Come on! Come on! What time do you call this, eh? Allow me, allow me. What time do you call this? As the boy Mood turns up on the sideline, this LSE defender is already trying to swap shirts with Zeps. He's not for sale, mate! He's not for sale! Nine on the clock and the wizard steps over the free kick. And I think he just wants to let the keeper know he's going to be in for a battle. Oh, that was a fizz. Cecil just warming up his acrobatics. Yes, Cecil! 13 on the clock and it's LSC's first attack. The striker pins Mentz. Free kick to LSC. Their player steps up, strikes it, and it's into the safe hands of Ted. Bit of mud on his eye. Flicked up from when I was running behind him, but it flicked up. I can't actually see it, I can feel it. <laughs> it's literally right here. Inside. Right. <laughs> 19 on the clock, and Champ plays a lovely ball over the top into Zeps. And what a touch. Zeps takes it down, crosses the ball in. Cecil controls it. And the chairman picks up the ball and puts it into the back of the net. And that's 2 0 to the wall. For all the hard work he does off the pitch, it was great to see the chairman finally get on the score sheet. 2 0 in 20 minutes continues the boys' journey to that 15 goal mark. <laughs> 22 on the clock, and Mentz plays it long. Brian wins that first header, and this tackle comes sat out of Karate Kid. Man's trying to give him the hakai chai. The wizard steps over the free kick, and dare I say it, but months again predicting the future. So go, so go, watch. Oh! And what's the Wall FC game without a wizard goal? The man makes it 3 0 just three minutes after the second. So the boys have started well with intense pressing, and I think this fella felt it. I know what was asked of the boys is pretty extraordinary and out of this world, but the mentality that we have down in our camp is we can do anything we put our mind to. E Man clears the ball when it's Cecil fighting for the seconds. The ball bounces down to the LSC defender and he plays it out to their left back. But as usual, E Man's there to clear up. Good press, good press. Hey Zeps, how we doing? Good guys, Zeps. Zeps picks up an injury but decides to stay on, whilst this fella's playing musical chairs. <laughs> he pulled the chair on him. He pulled the chair on him. 26 on the clock and Chan's teaching this fella not to turn his back. <laughs> LSC possession. Their striker holds it off and plays it into their centre mid. He drives with the ball and tries to play it in for their winger, but the ball's straight into Ted. Good work, Devon! Brian! I don't know what he's doing, he's having some juice. Having juice. Our first sub of the game, Zeps tries to play through his injury but it weren't working, so Roms takes his place. 28 minutes on the clock and a lot has happened in the last 10 minutes. Cecil gets taken out and the ball's dropped to Chan and he sends this guy to the shop. Chan plays the ball out to Eman. Eman plays it into the middle to the wizard. He gets it on his left foot as a shot and it's blocked by the LSE defender. 32 minutes in and Divine takes a throw. It's gone straight to the LSE defenders and it's come to their striker. He's played it over to their winger who drives down the wing. Very nippy player. He gets all the way to the byline, gets a crossing and their striker just sets their centre mid. And it's a great save from Ted. It's a wall attack and Eman plays the ball down the line to Chan who adds another player to his hit list. Perfect. Cuts inside and plays it to Roms. And Roms wins a corner for the wall. The last five minutes, the boys have been letting LSC get back into the game. Another attack. Straight into the hands of Ted. Don't go anywhere. How are you coming first? It's about to reach 35 minutes, and Mentz and this striker have a standoff. Thank you, 
37 minutes on the clock and the chairman just showing here that he ain't just an actor Why is my controller sticky? He plays it off into the vine The vine plays it over to Chan Chan plays Percy in behind and he gets taken out When the wizard steps over a set piece and Reese wins the first header it's usually a goal With Cecil lurking at the back post and finishing the scraps, he makes it 4-0. Oh, yeah! 4-0 up and the boys are searching for that fifth goal to end the half, while Mentz and their striker can't get enough with each other. And the ref blows for half time. The boys lead LSC 4 0. It's been a great half, but in the circumstances that we're in, we need more. Knowing the win just isn't enough. The boys need to come out in the second half and score 11 goals to win this division title. But I can't fault the boys. Being 4 0 up in half time in any game is always great to see. Let's hear what the gaffers have to say. All right, lads. Very good half, okay, but it's easy to get a bit complacent with what we're doing now. No pressure about the goals thing, that was just a joke thing, but because no, we still want you guys to score, you still have to score. But I'm saying to you guys, sometimes you guys are doing a bit too much. I'm saying just slow it down a bit, just play ball where we normally play ball. The ball just needs to yeah, get from yeah, yeah. A to B quick, a bit quicker. For me personally, I just feel like we're playing around with it a bit too much back here. There are times we can skip out the middle, man, and just be a bit more direct. Just being on this wing, I don't know if it's because we're down here, but Chan is in <coughs> acres and he's roasting every single person that comes down here anyway. So I'm like, if you see it on and you're on this side, Reese, or any of you guys, switch it quicker. When we've got the switch on, they can't handle it, guys. I think what's gonna get you through the second half, in my opinion, footballing wise, they're not that great, but they're giving you some physically. So a lot of you are taking knocks, getting hurt. You've got to dig a little bit deeper. I think, in my opinion, you've got to leave everything on the pitch. It's your last 45 for the yep. rest of the season. So get into that battle, be brave, and get, and get the job done. The way we solve this is our collective movement. Off the ball is not good enough. Rotation, the movement off the ball, the inverted runs, overlapping, it's, it just looks disjointed. So when we're getting the ball at the back, the movement movement from the midfield and the strikers, there's no interchange. Yeah, and that's why we're not being able to break the lines. Like we've got to be able to break the lines. We don't want to rely on just on the switches. Because then it's like a 50-50. Yeah, if it you know it happens, it happens. But we can get the ball into the front minute if we work on that midfield movement. Yeah? You don't have to be rigid. Alright? Chrissy go into the middle and then Percy go out there when when recent those guys have got the ball. That creates the space for them to pass to the front man. Then you go and join in because then Chrissy's on the inside, then he can be dangerous. And Chan vice versa, do you understand? Yeah, and then that creates the space for Jay to get on the ball. So we're not we're not doing that well enough. And because we're not doing that well enough, we're keeping them in front so they can defend in their two banks of four. So we're having to break them down and that's when we're getting tackled and getting hit because we're slowing down the game. Yep. We play the game at a faster tempo, they can't even get near us. Hands in, hands in, hands in. One, two, three. I believe we are unchanged for the second half. Four new up and chasing the title. Let's see if the boys have got more to give. The second half begins and it's already a wall attack. The Brick driving with the ball, plays in roms, but there's just too much on the pass. A minute later, 46 on the clock, the ball drops to Divine and he drives forward with it, holding off his man with ease. He keeps going and plays it out wide to Cecil. And this is Cecil just being Cecil. Perfect. That's Cecil there sending his man to get him some chicken and chips whilst the wizard switches from right to left. What the ball? Oh, oh, oh. That's what I'm talking about! That is what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Ted with a great goal kick, Cecil with a lovely assist, and the wizard with a finish. The boys make it five on their goal for 15. That's from the warm-up. 49 on the clock and it's a punt upfield. E-man with a header and a not shout this foul went against him. So it's a free kick to LSC. And that's dropped him behind. But Ted manages to get impeded and the ref blows for a free kick. still missed. 51 minutes played and it's number 47 40 was Zidane. Now it's LSE really up in their gears, but Reese just turns off their engine. And if LSE had a better striker, then it probably would be 5-1.
The gaffers decided to make a triple substitution. We got Cecil coming off for Zeps, Percy coming off for Rob, and Divine coming off for Dan. So the subs are made and the game resumes. And I think I'm starting to understand why the LSC defender wanted Zeps' shirt. After 30 seconds from coming back off the bench, Seps gets his second of the game, 6 0 to the wall. Look at the strength! Seps straight away! Come yeah! On. Come on! Get back! Uh, <laughs> and even the wizard can't trick his way out of these tackles. <laughs> And I think this number seven wanted more than just my shirt. So you can see the game starting to get physical, but Mentz just uses his brain to clear this one up. Sunday league or not, anybody that loves football will appreciate this one. So the boy Zepps managed to grab himself a hat trick. Roms with the amazing touch. This goal came out of something like Burkamp and Henri. So we're 7 0 up, needing eight more goals to win the title. And I think that hat trick's got Zepps excited. 66 minutes in, seven goals scored, and the skipper's still not on the score sheet. <laughs> 72 on the clock and we got a free kick on the right wing and I think Mont's taught SJ the powers because now we can predict the future. Wait, number three coming in the back! Too late, number three scored! Yeah! Come on! Come on, Ray! Come on! I got that! Did you know? Did you catch me what I said on camera? Yes! Thank you! Wait, number three coming in the back! Too late. Number three score. Yeah! SJ's making sure he gets his props, whilst Reese makes it 8 0 to the wall. Come on, get him. I said it's too late to get him. He's going to score. Bear talk. Bear talk. I could talk. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. And, <laughs> and, and, that, and, and that people is our manager. <laughs> External motivation skills, zero. <laughs> 74 on the clock. The sideline's saying change it, but Jay's got other ideas. He slips in Brian, and Rob takes a tumble. Free kick to the wall. Chan over the free kick. And Rob just gets his head on it and makes it 9 0 to the wall. 9 goals scored. 15 minutes left in this game with the boys still chasing the title. To reach 9 goals in a game of football is absolutely amazing, and we have to commend the boys. Let's see if they can reach the 15. And I didn't see it either, but this LSC winger slips on a banana skin. Before today's game, I spoke to Zeps. I said, yo, bro, I need at least a hat trick from you. He said, don't worry, Skipper. I'm going to try and score at least four. Oh, you got play, right? Well done, Tomo, well done. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. I need everyone to understand. The ball is behind him. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, underneath yeah, yeah, yeah. him. Hey, Zeppi! It was a great effort from Zeps, but the keeper did really well to stop it. Substitution. Chan comes off for Cecil. I do quickly just want to shout out Chan. He had an amazing game recording at least three or four assists. And this is Dan just doing the dirty work. And that is it. The referee blows the full time whistle. The season is over. The boys sadly couldn't reach the 15 goal mark, meaning that they drew level on points with Blendon who won the division title but lost out to it on goal difference.
But I do want to big up the boys for even going out there to reach that 15 goal mark. As you know already, the boys secured promotion, meaning that their expectations and targets for the club was met. So that is the end of all of the early Wall Days games. So it's good that we were able to show you how the season ended. Next week, we got our second episode of the Brick by Brick documentary, starring one of our key players, Reese. So make sure you tune in when it comes out. I want to say a big thank you to everybody that tuned in and to everybody that came out to watch that game. Make sure you pause the video and hit that like button. I want to see at least 150 likes for this video. I hope you all had a great new year. And as soon as the break ends, we'll be back with this season's content. If you've enjoyed watching the video, make sure you leave a comment below of what you thought of the game or any questions you have for any players. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button too, as we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers on our page. We're also on Instagram and TikTok at The Wall FC, so make sure you go on there too and follow us up. I've been your boy Skipper J, and it's good today that the boys could show LSC Giants that nothing gets past the wall. Look, guys, um, I just want to kind of say just a big well done to everyone. We had this kind of a meeting about a year and a bit ago with um, Percy and Javan, myself and Sace, and they said, you know, we want to try and get this team going the Wall FC and let's try and do something can we open up trials and you guys came along and they gave us a target and our target you know for our jobs to maintain our jobs was to make sure we got promoted and we've done that so let's give ourselves Come on. Come on. Come on. For me, obviously, I wasn't here from the beginning. These two have been amazing to work with. So I think I should probably step out no, and, no, actually, no, and, no, actually, no. and actually thank Sace and Leon because they've been fantastic. Yeah. So I think, yeah. The one person that I did want to thank isn't here and it's Lawrence. Oh, because it was yes. Lawrence that actually recommended to me in the first place um, and Lawrence is actually the reason why I'm here he's not here but I guess he might watch this so I guess Lawrence thank you because it was actually Lawrence that did it Sean's downplaying it okay but let's just be honest here about kind of what she's accomplished being with us okay in a male dominated sport and let's just be real okay even my daughters watch the matches now and they kind of oh daddy women the woman's managing okay and that's a, it's an important thing for people to see for everyone to see we're not trying to be just the average and normal Sunday league football team we're trying to break down barriers here and all the work that we do okay outside of football and on the pitch so just a huge well done to Sean and a big thank, thank you as well Sean. It's been a dream. Um, 22 years I've been coaching, I've done a lot in that time, but never really in the men's game have we had the opportunity to do that. And as a, a black coach in a, in a game, which is very difficult, you know, I wanted to do the professional coach and all that stuff, and this is where I feel at home. And Percy, you know, and Javan, yep. your vision, your support, what they do on a day to day for this club is unreal. So, Percy, Percy Javan, home with respect. I can't take the claws by myself, even though he's our skipper, even though he's the brick, but he's my right hand and I have to say thank you, bro. Come on, Jack! I'm direct to football! I just want to say thank you for everyone that, that turns up each week and puts it in. From the people that start, to the people that don't even play, to the people that come and watch. It means a lot to hear you guys on the sideline. You might not think it, yeah. but when we're on the pitch and we hear you go, yeah. Yeah. That Vibing like that <laughs> gets us going, you know what I mean? Thank you to our coaches, Sace, Leon, and Sean. You've done an amazing job. Like, we hear you on the side, we hear you. Like, push up, drop in, drop in. Like, like, all that stuff helps, man. Even though sometimes you want to turn around and just say, shut up. Like, it's needed, you know what I'm saying? A man of match today, it, it came to us at the beginning of the season, disappeared. There was problems with him signing, playing for us. I got loads of calls about him, but he's coming. He looks like Pepe. We call him Seppe. <laughs> Brian, man of the match. <laughs> We go away, we gotta do it as, as our ritual, as our families. Put our hands together. Everyone, everyone, everyone as well. <laughs>